Especially given the bad weather and the last minute changes of the venue, I think they've done a spectacular job. I love seeing all the dogs and all the people coming out to support. Even the honorary pit bulls are here. <laughs> this event actually means the world to me. I have had 53 fosters and about 42 of them have, I believe is the correct number, have been pit bulls. And they're my heart and soul. I always tell people I love them because I am one. <laughs> Welcome back to Lots of Perspectives, and I'm your host, Ashley Burgess. Hey, we're here right now at the North Texas Pitbull Alliance Festival. We're here in Dallas at the North Texas Pitbull Alliance Festival, and we are checking out the doggies. We got the street team here. We're all representing right now. So we're getting ready to do some interviews here with some folks. Uh, the director of the North Texas Pitbull Alliance, as well as Deidre Franklin. Deidre runs pinups for pit bulls, and we're really interested in checking all this out, being a part of all this, and taking it to the next level. Um, anyway, you know, so right now we're looking at a bunch of dogs. We're about to get the costume contest. Let's talk to the street team real quick. Jasmine, so what do you feel right now? How are you feeling about being here? I am so happy to see so many people support pet bulls. I think that it's an underlying issue that nobody's addressed and that we have a group of people here and are ready to support the pit bulls. This makes me happy. I mean, I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Thank you, Jasmine. So you see, you know, I think it's more than just the dog itself and it's more than just dog specific. It's the concept that we all love animals, right? Got all kinds of amazing dogs. But I got a chance right now, uh, Deidre Franklin for pinups for pit bulls. Uh, amazing lady, amazing woman. Glad to have you here. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. What's going on with you? I'm nothing. I'm excited. All these dogs here, all these costumes. It's adorable. I'm loving all the dogs. It's positive. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's amazing. So tell me a little bit about pinups for pit bulls because I'm totally enthralled with this. Thank you. So we started in 2005 and the reason why I started the organization was I wanted to bring some attention to the cause. So what I started was a pinup calendar that I thought would be a one-time Kinko's calendar of just a bunch of my girlfriends and I, and it turned into something much bigger. So it's been 10 years now, we've really grown, and we have national teams all over the country. We're in 13 cities this weekend for um, Pitbull Awareness Day, so it's pretty amazing. That's really amazing. That is a total grassroots effort, too. Yes. Thank That's you. Awesome. So tell me a little bit more. I know you have a book coming out. Tell me a little bit about that. Sneak peek. Absolutely. So right now the working title is Life with Dogs. And basically it's going to be a book about how to be an advocate for the dogs, help people understand the law, how to defend themselves, defend their dogs, and keep all dogs and communities safe. Awesome. Uh, this is definitely a book that I'll be reading. Now I didn't realize one thing. If I have a pit bull and I travel between state to state, that there's a chance that my dog could be taken away from me and euthanized. Is that true? It is true. I still get chills every time I even think about it. So, for instance, if I'm traveling with my dog, Baxter Bean, to Denver, Colorado, my dog can be taken out of my car and taken to the shelter, and I might not even have the right to do process for them to euthanize my dog because we're traveling through their city where they have a breed ban on pit bull-type dogs. My God. This is, this is so barbaric. It is barbaric, and it doesn't keep anybody safe. If you think about it, we're getting rid of dogs because of how they look, not how they behave. And what we want people to understand is that it's very easy to have a dog behave very well. And if you can give them positive training and give them the love and energy they need for that, you're going to have a safe dog no matter what kind of dog it is. I totally agree with you. And you know what's so cool, too, is, is that I think it comes a time when you have to just step up to the plate and put it out there so that people realize what kind of discrimination is really going on. Absolutely. And I think the biggest issue is, is 
the rescue community is sometimes so fragmented and everybody wants to work on their own thing and people aren't working together. But if we're working together, we can fix a lot of these situations easily. We were actually able to get the grapevine shelter to get rid of their pit bull ban where now they actually adopt out pit bulls because we worked together with a local rescue and, and we all came together and talked to the sheriffs and now they're adopting out pit bull type dogs. It's amazing. Just from working together and making a few phone calls. So power in numbers and grassroots efforts are everything. Let me ask you, what can Perspectives listeners do to try to make things better? I think look into your local law. See what's going on in your community. If everybody's focused on their community, it'd be a lot easier to just knock BSL out of the park. Thank you, Jeter. You're awesome. I want to see the 2016 uh, pinups for pit bulls. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. I'll bring one right over. Thank you, sweetheart. So we just got done with the costume contest. Things are going really well. I just ran into an awesome person. His name is Bill Speaks. How many dogs have you adopted so far? Well, so far we've saved seven dogs. Wow, seven. Yes, ma'am. How long have you been doing this? Uh, probably for about 15 years. Awesome. So. Well, uh, most of us would say that you're a saint, and we, we believe that. If you were going to tell anybody or give somebody advice that's listening to this show, what would you tell them about animal and animal rescue? I tell them they need to go out and, get, and save a dog's life because, you know, I look on Facebook all day long and see that and it just it breaks my heart when they euthanize dogs me too it breaks my heart too so i, I believe that you're an inspiration and i want to hear more about it like we really appreciate you coming on perspective well, thank you and i'm glad y'all put this on i really enjoyed it thank you bill thank, thank you. you you have a good day what i learned from this event is that we want to allow each and every dog to live their true life it's actually really hard to determine what a pit bull is. It's not necessarily a breed, rather more than a look. Surprisingly, golden retrievers have a higher bite rate than pit bulls, and the pit bull bites that are recorded are over-publicized, making it seem like pit bulls have a higher bite rate than most other dogs. Many myths about pit bulls is that they're more vicious and psychologically different than other dogs, which isn't true, and that they have a locking jaw, which they actually don't. One thing that I took away from this event was that you should not discriminate dogs because of their uh, breed or how they look you should just you should be able to get with, connected with them you should be able to express how you feel with them well one of the most important things this uh, this event made me realize was just how biased the media is especially when pit bull coverage gets overblown compared to other dogs and how aggressiveness is not breed specific any dog could be aggressive it's, it just matters how the dog is trained so think about the implication here I think when we put it in perspective of children instead of dogs, we can totally understand. So all of us have met children that were not raised properly. We know children that were raised in a family where maybe the family was violent, maybe they were very upset, maybe there was domestic abuse. And you know what kind of happens from that situation, right? And we don't sit there and have legislation against kids that were raised in a frustrating home, in a home that there was a lot of violence. We have a specific breed, an American Stat Terrier. A lot of people like to use the words pit bull to describe a certain breed of dogs and people are trying to categorize them based on just their look, based on what they think that they're about. And the sad thing is that the animals are just like all other dogs. They're nice, they're sweet, they're kind. It just depends on how we reflect upon it. But it's just like anything else. When we discriminate against a group of people or a group of animals, what happens? I mean, we end up doing something wrong. And what I figured out is that when they have breed specific legislation, what happens is you're taking people that are good pet owners and animals that are good, good pets for that matter, and you're making them criminals. And to me, I think this is wrong. And I think to you, it's wrong as well. And I think we have to step up to the plate and we have to do what's right. And just because there's been some bad press in the news and just because there's some people that raise these types of animals to fight does not mean that all of these animals are fighting animals. It actually means something quite different. So I ask you after you watch this video to maybe go online to your Facebook, maybe to your Twitter or your Instagram, and make a comment about how you feel about breed specific legislation and how it's wrong. And better yet, maybe admiring those who are taking in animals, who are adopting animals from shelters and from kill shelters, realizing that they might not be able to get a house to rent because in that specific area, pit bulls are not allowed. Think about it. Think about how many animals are being euthanized on a daily basis because it's legislation that does not work. So I implore you 
to begin to realize things outside of what we think is real, to see things for how they truly are, and to realize that every animal and every person should have the right to live their true life. And this legislation gets in the direct way of these animals being able to live their true life. Hashtag LYTL. We'd love to hear from you, our prospective street team, as well as myself. We want to hear about how you're living your true life and how you're helping other people and animals do the same.